Hey guys, welcome back. I am super excited to present to you the newer version of rapid revision and what better topic to start than rather starting with cardiology. It would be like hitting the nail on the head. And the first topic that I'm going to discuss with you here would be myocardial infarction. And most of the time in the exam, they love to ask regarding infarct localization. Not only this is important for a PJ entrance exam, but even in your FMJ exam, they would be giving you a ECG with a short history and would be asking you regarding whether it's an anterior wall versus an inferior wall versus a lateral wall MI. So let's get started. But first of all, let's understand what MI is all about. And why this topic is important is because coronary artery disease per se contributes to the max amount of mortality in India. You see, India is anyway the diabetes capital of the world and uh, the number one reason why diabetics would be dying is again per se cardiovascular causes and that would be you know ranging from ST elevation to non-ST elevation MI to unstable angina. If they're not handled properly, the guy would end up with heart failure, severe pulmonary edema and he can die. So let's look at what actually happens during myocardial infarction. If I just zoom in, this can be taken as cut section of any one coronary artery. It could be left anterior descending, left circumflex, right coronary artery. And what you see in yellow here is uh, the fat deposition. So I can call it the lipid core. And what I've shown in green uh, superiorly, this uh, green is actually the fibrous cap. So atherosclerosis as a word that you read would be having two things present, a lipid core in the middle that is uh, in tunica intima and then covering that would be a fibrous cap and when blood is going through this coronary artery at a fixed amount of pressure, what really can happen here is, and that's going to be bad news, that there could be a development of a tear there's going to be a plaque fissure and the moment there's going to be a plaque fissure there would be exposure of uh, collagen uh, right deep inside the blood vessel which will cause the platelets to jump onto the opportunity you see i can draw parallels there like if you're shaving in the morning you get a cut from a shaving razor the collagen in your blood vessel will be exposed and the platelets will jump onto the opportunity the same thing is happening here as well because of this plaque fissure the platelets would be attracted to collagen i mean collagen will act like a magnet here and very soon there would be a platelet plaque formation and then there's going to be a clot formation a thrombus formation and this thrombus is going to occlude the entire lumen of this coronary artery and within the next couple of minutes once this coronary artery gets occluded by a thrombus or a clot you would be having muscle death you would be having myocardial necrosis I will be describing to you technical uh, meaning of the word myocardial injury versus myocardial infarction. Yes, they're different, but at the moment, I want to say two facts, which I'm not writing, but uh, this, this would give you insight from the treatment perspective that uh, uh, you, you read about MI being of two varieties, that is ST elevation MI and non-ST elevation MI. Why that classification is because what we have found subsequently is that in ST elevation MI, the clot is rich in fibrin and RBCs because the clot in ST elevation MI is rich in fibrin and RBCs, therefore fibrinolytic drugs like streptokinase, l taplase re taplase tenec taplase will work. On the contrast, when you read about non-ST elevation myocardial infarction, the clot happens to be platelet rich. Because it is platelet rich, therefore we shall be using mainly antiplatelet drugs, antithrombotic drugs, but will not use thrombolytics. Thrombolytics are not effective with respect to non-ST elevation MI, in fact, in routine video lectures, I always say thrombolysis is contraindicated in non-ST elevation MI. So I'm going to write that data subsequently, but the basic concept is two facts. ST elevation MI is fibrin rich, so fibrolytics will work. But the same strategy is not going to work in a non-ST elevation myocardial infarction because we don't have a fibrin rich clot, or rather we have is a platelet rich clot. So you need to, uh, I mean, you know, adjust your strategy according to the opponent that you are having and uh, therefore let's now focus on this ECG that would be given to you it's a standard 12 ECG and most of the time in the exam what they do is that they give this ST elevation mainly in lead number two lead number three and lead number AVF I mean every time you come across the ECG the first thing we know when a question is beginning with chest pain you are anyway thinking in terms of possibility of myocardial infarction in a patient so where should you look at 
obviously you should calculate the heart rate and for calculation of the heart rate i've discussed subsequently the strategies that you will be deploying and i mean what is uh, the best way to calculate heart rate in the shortest possible time so this would come subsequently but at the moment i just want to say that because this is a rapid revision per se and they ask about infarct localization which surface of the heart is involved so i want you guys to remember the fact that whenever it's going to be the inferior surface of the heart